Okay, class, picking up where we left off at, we're at one-to-one -one correspondence and equivalent sets. If set A and set B can be placed in a one-to-one -one correspondence, then A is equivalent to B. So N of A is equal to N of B. If set A and set B cannot be placed in a one-to-one -one correspondence, then A is not equivalent to B. So N of A is not equal to N of B. Example. The table shows the celebrities who hosted NBC Saturday Night Live most frequently and the number of times each starred on the show. A is equal to the set of the five most frequent hosts. B is the set of the number of times each host starred on the show. Are the sets equivalent? A. Method 1. Trying to set up a one-to-one -one correspondence. So we will write set A is equal to the host. And what I would do is I would just use the first initial of each host name. So we have Steve Martin, Alec Baldwin, John Goodman, Buck Henry, and Chevy Chase. Now we will go to set B, the number of appearances. So now we will have 14, 12, 10 and 9. As you see, we wrote both of these sets in roster form, which means that if we have any repeat number, we can only write it one time. So what we would do is this for one to one correspondence, we would draw arrows. So we would have S to 14, uh, Alec Baldwin and John Goodman, both will have 12 and Buck Henry would have 10 and Chevy Chase will have 9. Now if we look here we notice that this is not a one-to-one -one correspondence because each one of these elements in A must have its own distinct element in B. So this, so this set is not equivalent. Now we can scroll down here. It says method two count elements. Now we already have set up A and we have B set up. So we will have N of A is equal to, we have five elements in A and then we will have N of B. And if you notice here, we have four elements because we do not count the 12 twice. So this also proves that they're not equivalent. Now, we scroll down here to finite and infinite sets. A finite set, set A is a finite set if N of A is equal to zero. That is, A is the empty set, or N of A is a natural number. An infinite set, a set whose cardinality is not zero or a natural number is called an infinite set. Interesting note, the set of natural numbers is assigned the infinite cardinal number. We have this symbol here, red, elf, null. Now we look here at equal sets. Equal sets, set A is equal to set B if set A and set B contain exactly the same elements regardless of order or possible repetition of elements. We symbolize the equality of sets A and B using the statement, set A is equal to set B. Note, if two sets are equal, then they must be equivalent. Now we have our example here. It says, determine whether each statement is true or false. We have five, six, seven, eight, and we have eight, five, seven, six. They both have all of the same elements, so this is true. Now we come here to B. We have this set of 2, 4, 6 is equal to 0, 2, 4, 6. Now if you notice, this has one extra um, element in this set than this does, so this is false. So they are not equal. And we are done.